Hey everyone, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Siri shortcut using the Shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad. With the introduction of iOS 12, Apple is rebranding the Workflow app to Shortcuts. Perhaps the biggest change in the Shortcuts app is the ability to configure your Workflow shortcuts to launch with a Siri command. The Shortcuts app makes it possible for you to create all kinds of workflow shortcuts that can be easily accessed on your Apple iPhone or iPad. For example, you can create a list of frequently visited locations where all of the locations link to directions. You can inform specific contacts you're on the way, more easily turn your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on and off, and more. In this video, I'll walk through setting up a shortcut that when run, will send a text message to my wife letting her know that I'm heading home from work, and will also open up my directions home in Waze. And now let's talk through the steps to create a Siri shortcut using the Shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad. Step 1. Launch the App Store app on your iPhone or iPad, and then search for and install the Shortcuts app by Apple. Step 2. Launch the Shortcuts app you just installed on your device. You'll land on the library screen. Step 3. Tap Create Shortcut. The Untitled Shortcut screen appears. In this example, I'll create a shortcut that sends a text message to my wife that I'm leaving work, and that also brings up a map of the route I should take home in ways. Step 4. Tap in the search bar on the screen and then search for the action you want to create a shortcut for because I want to create a shortcut that tells my wife I'm leaving and coming home, I'll search for Send Message, and will tap Send Message in the results. I'll be returned to my untitled shortcut screen, where I'll now see Send Message added to my workflow. Step 5. I'll turn the toggle to the right of Show When Run off, so I will not be prompted to send the message, and the message will just send automatically. I'll set the recipient to be my wife, and I will enter the message, I'm leaving work now. Step 6. Now I'll add an item to the workflow that generates my best route home in ways. I'll type maps into the search bar, and then we'll select street address. This is required to pass my destination into ways. The street address dialog box appears. Step 7. I'll enter the destination I want to auto-populate into ways into the corresponding fields in the dialog box, and will then tap Done. The street address item will now be added to my shortcut workflow. Step 8. Now I need to add a work item for opening my destination address in ways. To do that, I'll enter Maps into the search bar again, and will select Show Directions. A Show Directions item now appears in my workflow. Step 9. I'll tap Maps to the right of Maps app to bring up a list of map apps to open my directions in. I'll choose Ways. Step 10. Now that I have my shortcut set up, I'll press the play button at the top of the app to test it. It works. Step 11. Now I'll tap the settings icon in the upper right corner of the shortcuts app. The settings icon looks like two toggles. The settings screen opens. Step 12. Tap the name field to give your shortcut a name. I'll name mine Leaving Work. Step 13. Tap Icon to customize your icon associated with the shortcut. I'll choose a background color of blue and a glyph of a house. Step 14. I'll tap Add to Siri on the settings screen so that I can launch my shortcut workflow by speaking a specific voice command to Siri. An Add to Siri screen appears with a suggestion for what you could name your shortcut workflow. Tap the orange button at the bottom of this screen and then speak the phrase you want to use to launch your shortcut workflow. In this example, I'll name my shortcut Leaving Work. After your audio is captured, the next screen will give you the option to re-record your phrase. Tap Done when you're happy with your recorded phrase to go back to the settings screen where you'll now see your phrase name to the right of Siri Phrase. Step 15. Choose whether or not to share your shortcut in either the widget or the share sheet in the next two lines. Step 16. 
tap Add to Home screen and follow the associated instructions if you want to add an icon to your iPhone or iPad home screen to launch your shortcut workflow. Step 17. Tap Done in the upper right corner of the Settings screen when you're finished and then tap Done again in the upper right corner of the Shortcut Workflow screen. Your workflow will now appear in your Shortcuts library. You can run your Shortcut Workflow at any time on your iPhone or iPad by launching Siri and then saying Run followed by the name of your Shortcut Workflow. For example, because I named my Shortcut Workflow Leaving Work, I'll say Run Leaving Work and it sends a text message to my wife telling her I'm leaving work and it would bring up my directions home in Waze. Congratulations! You now know how to create a Siri shortcut using the Shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Click the video link on the right side of the screen to check out another video. Click the logo on the left side of the screen to subscribe to this channel to see more great videos like this one.